Hi, I'm Peter and this teaching is uh, stage 3.8, uh, which is a teaching on introspective awareness, uh, checking in and its value. So we've had some uh, lessons on how to do the checking in practice, but why would we do this? Well, one of the big revelations to all of us, I think, is the difference between attention and awareness and the value of awareness in meditation. And certainly for myself, uh, this has been epiphany and I've realized that actually it's my awareness that I need to strengthen up. And so the checking in practice helps that by uh, teaching, if you like, your awareness uh, what its job is and what to do. So normally our mind likes to uh, just focus in and put all the energy uh, into attention on the subject that we're thinking about at the, the, the present moment. And it doesn't really um, keep uh, an eye out on what is happening in the rest of the mind. However, it's important in meditation to be able to, to be aware of everything else that is happening in the rest of the mind for two reasons. <coughs> um, the first of these is to help in our meditation practice by looking out for potential distractions. So normally when distractions come, we don't bother. It just takes over the mind and we start thinking about that. But in meditation, of course, we wanna keep our mind on the meditation object. And so particularly in the early stages where there are so many parts of our mind operating and doing different things, we need to be as aware as possible so that our mind is not uh, hijacked, as Chuladasa says, the faces of our abductors. Uh, and uh, by practicing checking in, we're using our attention and our intention to uh, look at the different parts of our mind continuously over and over and over again to be aware when one of them has the potential to distract us. And gradually this more volitional, this more conscious choice of um, looking out for the mind will spill over into a more unconscious awareness, which will alert us automatically when distractions uh, have the potential to overtake our mind. So that is how the training happens. Now there's another reason why introspective awareness is important. Um, it's because in the end of the day, it's the awareness part of our mind where really a lot of our insights come from. So it's that ability to connect various parts of the mind on almost an intuitive level, which gives us um, insights or whether they're insights into emptiness or whatever. So ultimately, introspective awareness is important that way. Again, in stage two, we're using extras extraspective awareness uh, to train that awareness of being aware of the external world. Uh, and there are similes, you know, of course, we have to be aware of what's around us uh, to look out for dangers and to look for opportunities. Well, once that's been trained, we can swap it and look on the, the internal landscape of the mind to do very much the same thing. So that is a teaching on um, the importance of introspective awareness and how we can use the checking in process to practice to really uh, empower um, that facility of the mind.